Picture this. You are watching your favorite live sport event, for example the Champions League final, via a live TV streaming service. Suddenly, you hear from the neighboring apartment where they are watching a direct satellite feed of the same game, not knowing what just happened and waiting for your video stream to catch up is very, very frustrating. The EVIC project will reduce end to end latency from 30 seconds to 3 to 5 seconds in comparison to a satellite service using a low latency streaming delivery format. Segments are faster subdivided into smaller units, so called chunks, which can be faster decoded at the player. In order to improve the online video streaming experience, getting lower latency, you have to replace some components within the video streaming chain. We started by adding a new packaging protocol for the smaller chunks, which means we need a new player that is capable of reading these smaller chunks. This results in the optimization of the end-to-end -end streaming chain. We have tested these setups with a handful of video players on different devices, smartphones, tablets, and cellar boxes. We have conducted several quality and delay measurements to find out the optimal settings to achieve a good mix of low latency and service quality. The proof of concept of low latency streaming has been successfully developed and tested within our lab. We can now reach an average latency between three to five seconds for different setups. The next phase is to test in a real life environment. Low latency leads to new business opportunities such as interactive TV on mobiles or eSports streaming. Customers will get a comparable latency to conventional broadcasting services. Once the new technology will be in place, it will significantly improve the streaming service of Deutsche Telekom. If you want to get more information, Please contact me at T-Labs. My name is Peter Pokshiva. <laughs>